Rakesh Mittal now joins us. It's a pleasure to have you with us. You've got a smile Thank on your you. face, but then you always have a smile after every budget. Is this Thank a you. particularly wide smile because you didn't hear anything that you didn't want to hear and you did hear some good things? Well, I would say certainly yes. Uh, I would like to compliment the finance minister for a growth-oriented and a very, very focused budget on inclusive growth. Uh, clearly, the seven priority sectors which he talked about uh, covered the entire gambit of uh, what the industry was looking forward to, what the middle class wanted, and more importantly, the segments of society who need a very, very uh, supporting and helping hand. Uh, having said that, uh, containing the fiscal deficit at 6.4%, in spite of all the pressures uh, where, the, where the government had to go and uh, do their external borrowing, uh, given the uh, Russia-Ukraine war, supply chain disruptions, uh, you know, the inputs uh, pricing moving up, I mean, clearly that was something which was very, very difficult for the government and the industry as a whole. And also giving a roadmap of 5.9% uh, fiscal deficit next year. I think that is something which I believe uh, will be uh, the government will be able to uh, so she's achieve that. a certain path of consolidation, but a 10 lakh crore spending on infrastructure. That for many people would be one of the highlights along with whatever happened in personal yes. income tax. Yes. Are you glad she's done that? Because that means at a time when the world could be slipping into a recession, that amount of spending may keep India on the growth path. Uh, I would certainly say yes. I think uh, this was something which we have seen during the last uh, over a dec decade on the uh, focus on infrastructure. I mean, not only uh, roads, airports, ports, uh, heliports and whatnot. Uh, even in this budget, uh, uh, 50 additional airports and heliports will be revived, uh, which has helped uh, the domestic travelers to really travel and go into tier two, tier three cities where it was very, very hard to reach. Yeah. Having said that, this will certainly spur growth and uh, the, the focus on uh, tourism, which she talked about, uh, which I believe is something where uh, domestic and international tourism are both very important to the country, not only creating uh, jobs, uh, employment opportunities, but I think more importantly, I believe uh, with all this spending which the government will do, which will keep uh, the, the, the uh, uh, growth and the employment generation uh, uh, on, but more importantly, Private sector also having spent about 4.5 lakh crore on capex uh, this year, uh, still yet not finished a quarter to go. I believe it is time for the private sector to unleash their animal spirits now. The, the, the government has the government has laid down the roadmap. They are supporting in any which way, whether it is the PLI for manufacturing sector, whether we look at urban revival uh, growth. Uh, you know, I mean, uh, 80,000 crore on uh, affordable housing, uh, money being spent on. Uh, uh, DBT, 47 lakh youth on tourism. So, so all this is a, is a great part. I would like to see a private sector. I say, yes, I mean, the private sector is already starting to move, uh, clearly okay. we see. And I, I believe that the next uh, uh, few years, few decades is something where we need to okay. work together.